Hey everyone, I'm John Sisson and today we're taking a look at the Sigma 45mm f2.8 lens for the Sony E-mount system. At the moment I am in Perth at Kings Park just walking around. I thought, you know, why not do a quick video or do a video review on the 45mm lens. This is Sigma's one of Sigma's first batch of lenses that they have created from the ground up for the mirrorless system. So at the moment it is available in the Sony E-mount and the Panasonic, Leica and Sigma mount as well, which is the L-mount. But this is a great lens for anyone that looks for, for anyone that wants to use it for travel, uh, which is what I'm using it for right now. And at a focal length that isn't too wide, but decent for say street photography, maybe portraits as well. But I've taken a few quick shots with it and it looks really sharp, but I do absolutely love the build quality without it being too heavy. So let's take a closer look at the lens and see what it has to offer. Okay, so if you haven't seen my first look video, I will have the link right, well wait, right here. And you can take a look at that, which is going through what it basically looks like, especially with the 35 mil, which I'll have a video review up very shortly, very shortly. Anyway, so this is the 45 mil, very compact, like I said, and in terms of the design, I love its build quality. The focusing ring is, to me, it's perfect. It's actually just as good as the Loxia lens lineup, which is a lineup of manual focus lenses that I absolutely love when it comes to how damp and how precise it feels. But not only that, you do have an aperture ring that makes it great for, you know, just selecting your aperture on the lens instead of the body of the camera. But if you do prefer selecting the aperture using the dials on the top, you can always set it to A and that will allow you to control the aperture through the camera body instead of the lens itself. Now on the side, you also have a focusing switch to change from autofocus to manual focus. And it does have a rubber gasket for weather seals to protect the lens from dust and moisture from getting inside. You do also get a lens hood which is made of aluminium or steel. It does come in a matte black sort of finish and matches the lens perfectly. Now it doesn't have any wobble with it which is great so it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off. One thing that this lens is missing compared to the Art Series line which is a 35 1.2 at the moment is that there is no option to turn off the clicking aperture ring so if you love that sort of feature, unfortunately, you don't get it with this lens. Keep in mind, it is a contemporary lens, not an art series lens like the 35mm 1.2. I am using this with a Sony a7 III, and in terms of focusing, it is fairly quick, especially when it comes to continuous focusing. And it does feel very well balanced and feels very, you know, feels well-rounded, not too front-heavy, which is great for travel and on-the-go sort of stuff. So definitely a lens worth considering if you do prefer traveling light. But of course it is an f2.8 aperture, so it is going to be decent in low light, but not the best when it comes to say, you know, maybe a Samyang f1.8 45 millimeter lens. So keep that in mind. Also, it does accept 55 millimeter filter threads, but that's basically it on the ins and outs of the lens itself. So let's go ahead and take some photos. On close inspection, the photos from the Sigma look sharp, especially when stopped down. With chromatic aberration, it's a non-issue, but vignetting is quite noticeable wide open. Whether this is a problem for you or not, it can be fixed in post. I am using this with the Sony a7 III, so it does have stabilization built in, but if you are a person that is using, say, a first-gen a7 or maybe a crop sensor camera like an a6000 without stabilization, you unfortunately won't have that sort of feature to compensate for that shake in your photos, so... It might be something you should take notice of because there is no stabilization built into the lens. And when it comes to AF speed, it was quick but not blazingly fast, so don't expect too much in terms of capturing fast moving subjects. Here's just a quick demo of point to point AF speed. As you would have guessed, IAF for both animals and humans work fine with the Sony a7 III, but do keep in mind that performance will vary from camera to camera. I absolutely love what this lens has to offer in terms of the build quality. It's the best in its price range. I do like the fact that they include the aperture ring, you've got the weather seals, you've got uh, a premium build, which is amazing. But of course, it is priced a bit more higher than 
the I guess its main competitors, which I guess could include the Sony 50mm 1.8 and the Samyang 45mm f1.8. I do like the fact that it is nice and compact, lightweight as well. I actually, I actually didn't use the aperture ring all that much because I, know, I feel like it was a bit too close to, uh, to the camera body and it wasn't more to my liking. But you know, it's really up to how you shoot. So if you have any more questions, uh, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you already own this lens, what do you think of it? Do you, are you intending on getting it or do you like what you purchased and do you what do you think about this lens in terms of build quality and you know sigma's first foray into the lenses designed for mirrorless cameras if you want to subscribe to my channel for more sigma lens reviews and tutorials click that subscribe button and the notification bell and if you found this lens or lens review helpful click that like button and of course share it with your friends family and anyone you think that would find this lens review beneficial for their purchasing needs and of course take a look in the description down below for more information about this lens as well as affiliate links that do help support the channel as well as future projects and until then happy shooting and thanks for watching very sturdy it does have uh it, it is in a math what i do love is that it has a what do you call it <laughs> What do you call it? Crap, I got a loss of words. Uh, but you do also get... Uh, oh, you don't. <laughs> also, do keep in mind for videos, it's not going to eliminate... 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 Also, it does come... Let's wait for that plane to pass. Am I... Filming this on an anthill?